Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Chester ARP Church Devotional Podcast. I'm Clint Davis, your host. Thanks for being with us. Trust that you're having a great day as we get started. Genesis chapter 30, Mitch brings us in. Gives me grace for every trial. Feeds me with the living breath. All right, well, thank you so much for being with us this morning as we gather together. We thank you. We look forward to reading God's Word. Genesis chapter 30, beginning in verse 25. After Rachel gave birth to Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Send me on my way so that I can return to my homeland. Give me my wives and my children that I worked for and let me go. You know how hard I have worked for you. But Laban said to him, If I have found favor with you, stay here. I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Then Laban said, Name your wages and I will pay them. So Jacob said to him, You know how I have served you and how your herds have fared with me. For you have had very little before I came, but now your wealth has increased greatly. The Lord has blessed you because of me, and now will I also do something for my family. Laban said, What shall I give you? And Jacob said, You don't need to give me anything if you do this one thing for me. I will continue to shepherd and keep your flock. Let me go through all the sheep today and remove every sheep that is speckled or spotted, every dark-colored sheep among the lambs, and the spotted and speckled among the female goats. Such will be my wages." In the future, when you come to check on my check on my wages, my honesty will testify for me. If I have any female goats that are not speckled or spotted, or any lambs that are not black, they will be considered stolen. Good, said Laban. Let it be as you have said. That day Laban removed the streak and spo- streaked and spotted male goats and all the speckled and spotted female goats, every one that had any white on it, and even the dark color among, one among the lambs, and he placed his sons in charge of them. He put a three-day journey between himself and Jacob. Jacob, meanwhile, was shepherding the rest of Laban's flock. Jacob then took branches of fresh poplar and plain wood and peeled the bark, exposing white stripes on the branches. He set the peeled branches, the troughs in front of the sheep, and the water channels where the sheep came to drink, and the sheep bred when they came to drink. The flocks bred in front of the branches and bore streaked, speckled, and spotted young. Jacob separated lambs and made flocks face the streaked sheep and the completely dark sheep in Laban's flocks. And he set his own stock apart and didn't put them with Laban's sheep. Whenever the stronger of the flock were breeding, Jacob placed the branches in the troughs in full view of the flocks, and they would breed in front of the branches. And as for weaklings of the flocks, he did not put out the branches. So it turned out that the weak sheep belonged to Laban and the stronger ones to Jacob. And the man became very rich. And he had many flocks, female and male slaves, camels and donkeys. (coughs) Excuse me, this is an interesting story. Jacob is keeping his father's flock, his father-in-law's flock. He says, all right, now Joseph has been born. Rachel finally is born. Joseph to uh, Jacob, he's beloved. Uh, He's a beloved child later on. That'll be a big issue in the coming uh, chapters. He's beloved because he was the firstborn of Rachel. And uh, so now Jacob says, all right, our family is intact. We've got sons. We've got livestock. We've got wives. We've got everything together. Now let us go, and uh, we want to return to our homeland. He wants to go back home. Laban says, well, you can't do that yet. You're doing too much for me. I've gotten too rich under your leadership. I, I need you to stay, for the Lord has blessed me because of you. And Jacob says, well, you know how I've served you and how your herds have fared with me, for you've had very little before I came, but now your wealth has increased greatly. Because of me, the Lord has blessed you, and now I want to do something for my own family. In other words, I've made you wealthy. Now let me go and do my own thing. That's a legitimate request, isn't it? We all know what that's like. We can identify with that. And Laban said, well, what else should I give you? And Jacob said, well, you don't need to give me anything. Just do this one thing. I'll continue to shepherd your flock. Uh, but let me just go through and move every sheep that is speckled or spotted, even dark-colored sheep among the lambs, and the spotted and speckled among the female goats, and those will be my wed- wages. So just give me the sheep that have colors on them, right? Just give me the sheep that have spots and speckles and dark-colored, etc., and I'll leave the white sheep with you. In the future, when you come and check out my wages, you'll be, you can tell the difference, right? My flock's going to look different than your flock's. Female goats that are not speckled or spotted lambs that are not black with me, you will consider them stolen and you'll get them back. Good, Laban said, hey, we can do that. 
And so that day, Laban removed the streak that spotted male goats and all the speckled and spotted female goats. Everyone had white in it, and even dark colored among the lambs. And he placed them in charge of his son. So Laban said, all right, we're going to take all of the males that are going to reproduce that have spotted goats, right? We're going to take those and put them in our own flocks. We're going to get them away from Jacob. So Laban is, is in a sense, tricking, trying to be deceptive here. You can have, right, you can have these spotted and speckled sheep and, and those kind of things, um, and, uh, and and you can take them with you, And but I'm going to take, you know, uh, the males so that you won't get any more spotted and speckled necessarily because the males are going to reproduce and have the genes. And so he pulls them all away. Now, Jacob only asked for the female goats. He didn't ask for the male goats. He asked for the female goats. And so, you know, this is an agreed upon thing. So then Jacob took branches of fresh poplar and plain wood and dark and peeled bark. And while this works, we don't know. But he put them in front of the sheep and the troughs of water, etc. And the sheep um, and the you know the goats, they, they made it in the midst of all of that. And as they reproduced, they produced speckled and dark um colored sheep and goats and lambs etc and the offspring were strong and so when it was a strong offspring he kept it when it was weak he gave it to Laban and so Jacob is growing in strength right and he's doing it intentionally with the strongest sheep he is a shrewd businessman as well and so we see God has blessed Laban because of Jacob God has done this stuff because God's pleasure, not necessarily because Jacob deserved it, but because God's pleasure. God has blessed Jacob. God has blessed Laban through Jacob because God has had his hand on this young man. Now, is he perfect? Absolutely not. Does he have issues? Absolutely. Is he deceptive? For sure. But God has been gracious to uh, bless Laban and Jacob through uh, his grace and so we see God working that way and we see God doing things according to his purposes this is going to later make Jacob a strong house that's going to make Israel a strong house and that's going to go end up and carry on into Joseph's term as well and so we see the long term view of this is that God is working to accomplish his purposes and we have to trust God to do that I think that's one of the greatest challenges in the Christian life is learning to trust God <clears throat> to do things when we don't fully understand what he's doing. You guys have a great day. God bless you. I'll catch up with you tomorrow.